everyone. So it's time to show all my old artwork. Um, been getting requests for a long time to show all of my really old artwork, so I'm gonna go through it with you guys today. This is a pretty huge stack, so <laughs> this is probably gonna be at least two videos. I'm gonna split it um, between like the old, just like art that's about to hear. And then everything from here down is all my old, like, comics and manga and stuff. So I'm going to do that in a separate video, because it's already going to be really long and whatever. Um, so all this artwork is from between about mid-1998 to about the midway through 2010. I'm not going to show anything after that, because a lot of it is stuff you guys have already seen, so... Yeah, I'm going to set up my camera properly so it's not all wobbly and stuff while I'm talking, but then I will show you the artwork. Alright, so I'm going to start showing you all this artwork. Um, this is a, when I started drawing. Um, it was in 1998. I was probably 10 or 11, probably 10. Um, Sailor Moon got me into drawing, so there's a lot of Sailor Moon fan art at the very beginning. So I'm not going to talk very much about any of these, I'm just going to sort of go through them. But this was the first drawing that I ever did, and it is a referenced image from the Sailor Moon manga. I never copied, like, traced. I always would look at, a, like, an illustration or whatever that I liked, and then I would copy it freehand. So that's what I did with this one. And this was the first character design that I ever did. And it says April 19th, 1998 on it. So, yeah. Legs for days. <laughs> um, more character designs. Do -do. It's kind of hard to get a good angle on these. So I'm trying to zoom in just a little bit. But not too much. So, anyway. Um, another referenced image from 2000. These aren't in order, by the way. I, it was too tedious to put them all in order. Um, so I just tried to group them by year, but they're not in, like, sequential order or anything. So. Sailor Moon. I also was really into Tenchi Muyo around this time. So. This is a little book that has, I turned all my friends into Sailor Scouts, and so those are all their profiles and stuff in here. Oh god. Um, this is a story I wrote. I was a very prolific author in, like, middle school, and I would always write, because you would get 10 points extra credit for every five pages you wrote of just, like, free writing, so I wrote, like, hundreds of pages, and I got, like, a mega A in that English class, so... Um more character designs. This was a character from a comic that I worked on by myself, which you will see when I do the manga videos. But yeah, so you'll see a lot of her. Oh god. There's a lot of lined paper drawings too. Because I didn't I didn't use a sketchbook until I was in college. So that's why everything's just on like loose leaf paper. Here's some um, Tenchi drawings that were referenced from the manga back in the day. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so this is high school. When I started high school. This is when I really started getting into like inking things. So this is like, I think this is ballpoint pen. I remember doing this in cooking class. I was working on it during the final. This is also when I got into um, Fushigi Yugi, because that was when it was new, and so my style really started to reflect that manga, because I hadn't seen the anime. And, oh god, screen tone! Oh, that's such a waste of screen tone. This is also when we started to seriously get into manga. When I say we, I mean me and my friend Brittany, because we always worked on our manga together. So, I bought some screen tone at Wojimaya which is a store that's in Beaverton 
not kind of near my house, but so I, it's like a Japanese supermarket and they had screen tone, so I bought some. <laughs> This is from Motaseru, which is a comic that me and Brittany and our old friend Jayla worked on, which I will talk more about when I get to that <laughs> in the manga video. Um, Hotohori from Fushigi Yugi. I was also really into Cardcaptor Sakura at this time, so this is 2002. There's a lot of fan art from that. More Tinji drawings. Yaka. Tasuki. Oh my god. It's <laughs> another picture from Motaseru. Yup. Another picture from Motaseru. I think this was a back cover, like, advertisement that was on another comic that I was working on by myself. Good times. <laughs> Here's another comic that I worked on by myself. And another cover for that same comic. These are so bad. Oh my god. It's another cover for Motoseru. Motoseru was about me and Brittany and our friend Jayla. So we're in it. So all this is a picture of Jayla. And yeah. That's me. And that's Brittany. <laughs> so bad. Oh gosh. I didn't really look through these, I just kind of organized them really quickly, but it took like an hour to do it, so I didn't really look at any of these, so it's kind of fun to see everything, because some of them are really, really awful. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, I used just Crayola colored pencils back in the day when I was drawing, because I didn't have money for art supplies, so <laughs> I just used like regular pens. So for these were when I first got my Copic Multiliners around 2002, late 2001 is when I got those, but I still used them on white paper, which is nice. So, more horribly wasted screen tone. It was around this time where I like started, I was in art classes and stuff, so I think it was around this time where they taught us stippling, so that's why everything stippled. So, <laughs> Miyaka. A thing. All right, so this is probably what time? This is probably sophomore year of high school. That first section was probably s freshman. Um, this is from. Oh my God, what is it called? Let me. I can't read my own bad Japanese handwriting. I don't remember what this is called, but it's from one of the comics that we worked on, which you will see. Um, yeah. Lots of inking. There's a. A lot of inking in this one. I really, really like inking, and I still do. So this is from February 4th, 2003. More stippling forever. Sorry, I keep standing up to see my camera to make sure it's still filming, because I have it, like, stacked up really high so you can see the pictures. Um... Yeah. This is so, like... Dirty and gross. Um, this is around the time where I got into Ruoni Kenshin, um, which is why it's like detailed to the end of time because that manga was really line heavy and I really liked that. So, yeah, this is from Soro ga Mieru, which is a manga that I worked on by myself, which you will see, but it was long. It was like 120 pages fully inked and worked on by me over like a year and a half, so still It's not that bad it could be worse, but This is when I learned to do night sky <laughs> I got white ink and I was so proud of this picture Because I worked so hard on it um, This is another drawing from Motoseru. These quite aren't quite in order, but this was like an opening splash page for the comic that we worked on. Kaoru. Another picture from that comic I worked on alone. Kaname from Full Metal Panic. Original. Original. Oh god. Original. <laughs> 
Um, Sachi from one of the comics. She's a character from one of the comics we worked on. And this is probably, gosh, when is this? What is the date on this? 2004, so junior year of high school. Um, we we're still working on Motoseru. We worked on it for like three or four years when we were in school. So it, there's a lot of stuff to look at with that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> um, Yuna from Final Fantasy. This is when I really got into Final Fantasy. So Yuna again. And anything that, like this, I think, I don't remember if I referenced this or not, but most of the work I was doing at this time was not referenced. It was just my own original work. So, Yuna, what's his face from Zetai Karashi, or what is the English title? I don't remember what they called it in English, but I read the Japanese manga because I could read Japanese pretty well at that time, and I still can, but um, Alice 19th, I really liked Yuatase, who wrote Fushigi Yugi, so I was really into everything that she did. I was also really into Inuyasha at this time. <laughs> this is the first marker picture I ever colored. I got Prismacolor markers. This is from 2005. I don't think this is quite in order. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the first picture I ever colored with marker, and I used just um, a basic set of Prismacolors that I got. Um, oh my god, what is her name? What's her name from Inuyasha? <laughs> I can't remember what her name is. Um, I was so proud of these when I did these. I have like a little series of this style. But this is totally in the Kenshin style, but it's Inuyasha fan art. Make sure you can still see these. Oh my god, what a waste of ink. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I worked on by myself. Just like fully, ridiculously inked things. I wonder how long this took me, because I don't know if I could even do this now, or would have the patience to do it now. But yeah, this was, see, yeah, these definitely are not in order, because this was in 2003. <laughs> so I think those 2005 ones were stuck in the wrong section, because this was still, like, Kenshin phase. Um, another one from the comic I worked on alone. Whoa. Jeez. This is good quality paper. Um, this is another one from the comic I worked on alone. So these are all original. This is original. This is from 2004. 2004 again. This is from another comic that me, Brittany, and Jayla worked on. Probably around 2004. I actually do not have this comic. This is the only one that I don't have. The ones that we worked on as a group. Jayla has it, and I don't really talk to her anymore, so I can't get it back from her. And it was really cute, too. It was it's kind of sad that I haven't seen it in, like, probably 15 years. <laughs> this is one from a comic that me and Brittany worked on, kind of, alone. Um, we never finished it. We only got a couple pages of it done. Kenshin fan art! Yay! I was wondering where this stuff was, because I had, did a whole bunch of Kenshin fan art. I really liked the style that... What is his name? whatever who wrote Kenshin worked in in the manga, so I really, like, observed that style and learned how to work in the style that he worked in. This is not finished. It's a lot of unfinished art. Oh, God. These are stuck together. Um, another unfinished piece from a comic I worked on alone. Ah, uh, this is college. This doesn't belong in here. Whatever. Um, this was for my cartooning class when I was in college the first time, because I went to community college before I went to the Art Institute. But yeah, so... Uh, another unfinished piece from that comic I worked on alone. Original. Yup. This is a drawing from a statue. My favorite statue. I can't remember what it's called, but it's still my favorite. But... Yeah, that's referenced. And this stuff is from 2005, so this is when I was a senior, and this stuff, I think the majority of it, is from my Senior Quest project. My Senior Quest in high school was like your final thing. So I did mine, my big project on video game concept art and design, so I designed 
like a game world and all the characters in it and wrote a story for it and that was my final project and we took like the whole set like last half of our school year and we worked just on that so it was pretty fun because you got to do basically whatever you wanted like one of my friends did his final project on like toast or something it was really special I don't know <laughs> I don't know but so most of this stuff is from that so this is a pencil drawing and there's another drawing on the back of this one. Oh my god, her mouth is up so high, it's so awful. <laughs> um, this was really risque to put in a college, or not a college, a high school project. Man, she's carrying. Yep. Let's make sure you can see these. Sorry I'm not lingering on these longer than this. I just don't want this video to be like 50,000 years long, which it probably is going to be anyway, because it's two parts. So... Oh. <laughs> this is not from the... These are not in the right section. These are from like 2001. Especially this. You go away. Um, what's her face from Ayashi no Seres? Aya. Yeah, because I like Yuatase. Chobits. I was into Chobits for a little while. Not too long. There's not... I don't have much Chobits fan art. Riku from Final Fantasy. Ten. More stuff from my senior project. More stuff from my senior project. There's outfit design on the back of this, too. Um, that's Sachi from Motosera. We hadn't been working on it for about a year, that comic. So I just thought it would be funny to draw one of the characters in my style since my style had been changing so much. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Character pictures from my final project. Oh my god. Your eyes are terrifying, miss. Wow. <laughs> More from the final project. I don't know how well these pencil drawings are picking up on my camera, but yeah. Can't really zoom in much more than this. With... That's too much. But yeah. So this was the my like proposal. You had to do like a poster thing for your final project and then I hung them all up in the school and this was mine. And this is actually a drawn like a picture that I taped, or not taped, glued onto like this piece of fancy paper that I bought at like Office Depot. Because it was high class. Doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Could be worse. Um, there's Sachi again. Since my style had changed, I decided to draw her again. This is when I got those uh, Faber-Castell like monochrome inking brush pens. And I thought they were just the coolest thing in the world, so I used them for everything. This is from 2006, so this is after I graduated from high school. And this is getting into when I was in community college. So probably, I started community college in 2005, right after I graduated from high school. So probably 2005 to 2006. Um, this is the concept for happy food. Uh, I did, I was in a watercolor class and we had to pick what our final project would be. So I painted happy food. Look at how happy the pancake is. So cute. I actually really like these. I did three of them. I did the pancake. I did cakes and cookies. And cupcakes. But my favorite is the pancake. Because look how happy he is. So cute. And this is when I started really coloring with marker. So this is one of probably, this might be the second thing I ever colored with Prismacolors. This doesn't have a date on it. Though. Oh no, yeah it does. July 2nd, 2005. So this is right after I graduated from high school. Oh, it has a tear in it. That's so sad. Yeah. Um, this is another Prismacolor drawing. Wow. Look at that. So this is from August 2005. This is a redraw of this. <laughs> so this was in 1999, and I think this was in 2006. Six, probably. There, this is on my DeviantArt, like them right next to each other. And I was thinking about doing this again since it's been so long and redrawing this again. So I thought that was kind of funny. All right. Just yep. 
dress designs. Wow. Yeah. This is also when I got my first light box, so that's why I have a pencil and an inked version. Girl with umbrella. Whoa! God, Carrie. No. Get out of here. Um, this was from, I think it was like my women's history, art history class, so I did mine on my project on Tale of Genji, because it was written by a woman. So this is a drawing from that book. And this is another drawing from that same project. This is cool. Look at all that stippling. That must have taken me hours. Sheesh. <laughs> this is from um, Shadow of the Colossus, which I never finished. I finished the game. I didn't finish the drawing. That's like one of my favorite video games is Shadow of the Colossus. Um, what's her face from Kingdom Hearts? Two. I don't remember what her name is. Whatever. Um, there's Sachi again from Otisero, and there's me and Brittany. That's me, and that's Brittany. And there's a color version of it, so that's me, and that's Brittany. Oh, man. <laughs> there's, that was my old uh, DeviantArt profile picture. Now this is getting into stuff that I think people have seen because a lot of this stuff is on my um, DeviantArt. So Luna, Luna again, um, some girl I was friends with on DeviantArt like years and years ago, this was in 2008, asked me to draw her and what's his face from Cowboy Bebop. I can't remember what his name is. So yeah. Kaname, colored version. I colored these. I had a set of um, Neo Pico markers and this is what I colored in. I didn't like those markers because they were really dry feeling but the colors were so pretty and vibrant but I eventually gave them to my roommate Brittany and then she got Copics and then gave them to somebody at her church so I think they're still around getting used which is good. Um, Kaname and these are colored with those nail picos as well. I just the colors are so vibrant and smooth but the markers were really dry feeling and I didn't like that so I had a hard time working with them. Sailor Moon! Oh my god! Oh. Sometimes I just go back and draw Sailor Moon because I still really like Sailor Moon. I think, if I remember correctly, this is the first picture I colored with Copics. It doesn't say on it. But pretty, this looks like Copics. So, this was in 2010, which is about when I got Copics. So, yeah. Yeah. I really like this picture. Meg! Oh my god! I want to compare this to my new Meg picture that I did for my channel. This is the one, like, probably the first Disney fan art that I had done in like 15 years. So I did this when I was on the vacation at the beach. And it was done in Copics because there's color referencing on the side of it. Alright, so this is when I got into Full Metal Alchemist. How long is this video? Oh my god, it's so long. <laughs> And me and Brittany, as usual, worked on a dojinshi. Um, yeah, and it was like, it was Full Metal Alchemist themed, but there was like original characters and stuff, and it was like this big hullabaloo. And it was really long, and you'll get to see that when I do the manga ver part of this video, but there's a lot of fan art from, or fan art from that, so I'm just going to go through it. Yep. Oh my god. This is all done in Prismacolor marker. Because this is when I had a few Copics, but not many. What the heck? Oh, it's a color chart. Go away. Man. I can still smell the Prismacolor ink on these. It's really not good. I'm going to zoom out a little bit since these are kind of bigger. Don't zoom in on that. It's bad. <laughs> Okay, and this, I did an etching of this, a copper plate etching, so I have like a piece of copper that has this drawing etched into it, and then I printed it onto other pages, but this is one that I just colored on my own. I love copper plate etching, but I never get to do it because I don't have the materials to do it because it's really um, hazardous, so that's kind of cool. That's not kind of cool. Getting to the bottom of the pile, yay! Um, Winry in a princess dress. This is colored with Neo Picos. Um, Rose. 
in a princess dress. <laughs> you can see the princess thing started really early. I just really like princesses. Oh my. Oh my. Let's go. Nope. Veto. These were done for um, somebody I knew on DeviantArt who really liked Rose and Ed as like a pairing, so I would always draw art for her. So there's, yeah. I actually still really like this drawing though. Um, what's the date on this? 2010, oh my god. This is 2009. And these, is, these were from, these little pencil drawings are from when I was doing a like, prompt challenge on DeviantArt, so, and these are all on my DeviantArt, all my FMA art is on my DeviantArt, so, still, I always want to take it down, but I know that people still like seeing it, so, yeah, oh man, spoilers, I'm not going to show that, it's inappropriate, <laughs> but it's on my DeviantArt, <laughs> um, this is signed by Vic Mignogna, I forgot that I had him sign this when we went to SoccerCon, in 2008. God. Man. Unfinished. This is when I was in community college and they were making us do gesture drawings, so all my drawings for a while was really like shaky and weird looking. <laughs> I think this is one of the last things, because these are not in order, one of the last things that I colored with Prismacolors before I started like completely using Copics. So, yeah. And these, these are not all of them. I made, when we went to Soccer Con, I made a big giant art book and I gave it to Vic Mignogna because we were friends with somebody who knew him so we got to like hang out with him all the time. We got to hang out with him and Caitlin Glass like all day. It was, it was so fun. So I made, I probably had like 60 pictures and this is not all of them because most of them has vanished but we're in this art collection that I gave him. Yeah. I actually really still like these. I think they turned out really well. Hope you can see these. Might be kind of far away. All right, only a couple more. Um, yeah, these are the these were in with Copics, I think. Oh god, that's so scary. What's wrong with me? And this is the last drawing that I did before I stopped drawing. And it was also one of the first things I ever colored with Copics. Um, yeah, it was about mid-2010 when I stopped drawing for about a year and a half. Because I just really lost interest and that's when I stopped watching anime and all that stuff. So yeah, that is it for this huge stack. Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go on and film the manga version of this same type of video. Um, I'm not going to post that until next weekend because I'm going to Disneyland over the week. So <laughs> I'm not going to be here. But I'll post it next weekend, but it'll be all ready and stuff to go. So thank you for watching, everyone.